I was so excited to see that the Singer Simple 3337 has a built-in needle threader, but there's some tips and tricks that I do want to show you so you are successful. Now, if you think about if you were a needle threader, how small would you need to be to actually squeeze it through the eye of the needle? And not just squeeze through, you need to actually be in the shape of a hook that is going to be able to pull the thread through. So there is a very small piece of metal that if you don't use this correctly, you can actually bend it, but you can also bend it back. If you can't get it lined back up, remember a local sewing machine service center can assist you for getting your needle back in alignment. But with these tips, I think you will successfully keep it where it should be nice and centered. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is actually lower the presser foot. By doing that, you get a little bit more room for using the needle threader with your hands in here. Next, when you lower the presser foot, you will also notice that your thread becomes tight and that can even help assist with a little resistance as you use it. The next thing you need to do is make sure your needle is high enough. So if the needle is lowered and not high, the needle threader will not come down and do its thing. See how I can't get around it? So bring that needle up as high as it will go. And then you'll notice that when I push down, the head that will swivel and go around the needle. Oh, another thing why that might not line up is if your needle was bent. So if you don't think you have a new needle in there, this is the time to put a new needle in and make sure that it is, well, perfectly straight because that's what you're going to need. Okay, so next, hold the thread with your right hand and you're gonna notice, I'm gonna bring the needle threader down just a little bit. When I do that, that is so I can catch the thread underneath this little arm before it gets all the way down to the bottom. So if you do it down here, it's kind of hard to get your hands underneath it. So I kind of catch it on my way down. Next, take your left hand and bring your needle threader all the way around the needle. You need to push straight down and hold it there in place. Next, bring the thread between those arms and then you're gonna lift up. Between the arms is that little hook I was telling you about. And as I lift up and hold this thread a little bit more up, I also need to let go of it gently. So as I let the needle threader pull the thread through the needle, it can actually pull the loop through. You can see it there. Let me do that again. So I'm coming down catching it on my way down, come down all the way, all the way, so it comes around the needle, in the little grooves, lift up, and then gently let go of it while it pulls it through. Did you see that time I actually had more loop to get my hands around? And then you're gonna pull it all the way down, lift the presser foot up, slide it underneath the, the foot, and you're ready to sew.